Much of the nation watched in shock on Wednesday as the Capitol in Washington, D.C. was stormed by a crowd that had been rallying in support of President Trump. The demonstrators had gathered in protest of Congress, certifying the victory of President-elect Joe Biden. Well, the crowd marched to the Capitol building and many breached Capitol security, smashing windows and rushing into the building. It was a chaotic scene and members of Congress were rushed from the House and Senate chambers to safety. Minnesota 8th District Representative Pete Stauber is here now to talk about the riot there in the Capitol building and its aftermath. Welcome. Glad to see you're safe. Uh, thanks, Dennis. It's great to be with you t here tonight. Thank you very kindly. What did you see when you first realized, uh, Congressman, that there was a problem going on, a breach of security? Well, Dennis, what uh, my part was uh, I went to the House floor to watch the historic counting of the electoral votes and uh, the third state, uh, Arizona, was uh, challenged. Uh, uh, a, a member of the House and a member of the Senate challenged it. So that means there's a debate uh, in one hour in the Senate and one hour in the House. And I had some legislative stuff to do uh, with my chief of staff in the office. So I actually left the House floor and was walking back through the tunnels. And it was at that time where my pagers went off and the phones went off. My chief of staff said uh, there's issues with uh, uh, the Capitol uh, being breached and also mm -hmm. Cannon House office building. So uh, we're trained to go to certain spots sure. and, and uh, I went to uh, a location that was secure and safe. Your reaction to what happened on Wednesday? You know, um, watching what happened in our nation's capital was just, uh, uh, was uh, horrific to, to see the beacon of freedom uh, uh, with the protesters coming through, um, you know, storming the Capitol. And, and I've said this, you know, uh, mob rule uh, uh, is, is not what this country's about. Mm -hmm. uh, we, mob doesn't rule the city of Minneapolis or St. Paul or Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, or New York City or our nation's capital. Simply unacceptable. You've been a staunch supporter of President Trump, but uh, things change now this week, and you've been critical of him. Why? Well, well one of the things that uh, uh, concerns me, I'm disappointed in, in some of the things he said, and, and I'm disappointed uh, that, uh, that uh, there were some challenges on, on Vice President Pence's uh, uh, character. Uh, Vice President Pence this week rose to the moment in political prominence by accepting uh, the electoral votes that were uh, sent by all 50 of the states. He followed the Constitution, and I'm very, very happy, and we should all be very happy that Vice President F uh, Pence followed the Constitution mm -hmm. as he swore the oath to. Many of your Democratic colleagues are uh, calling for impeachment or use of the 25th Amendment. Would you support impeachment or use of the 25th? Well, I think the 25th Amendment has to do with working with the cabinet side. And, and I think that uh, impeachment at this moment is going to divide uh, an already uh, divided nation. And I want to be, Dennis, I want to be part of the healing. And I'm looking forward to working in the 117th Congress. And uh, uh, I will be in attendance uh, uh -huh. at the inauguration on January 20th. The president says he won't be at the inauguration. What do you think of that? Well, I just found out about that uh, late this afternoon. And, and uh, you know, I'm, it's his choice. And uh, there have been, there's been a couple other presidents uh, that haven't attended for other reasons. So I just think that the peaceful transfer of power is what sets our nation apart from any other nation in the world. And uh, I was at the inauguration uh, for uh, uh, President Trump uh, when uh, uh, Pr President Obama and, and Michelle Obama were there mm -hmm. to watch that peaceful transfer of power. That is, a, that is part of the beacon of freedom. That's part of our Constitution. And it's very concerning because we want, uh, we want to be the leader of the free world. And I think that that transfer of power is so, so crucial and so critical on, on who we are peacefully. Do you think the president did enough on Wednesday night to stop the attack? You know, uh, I think that uh, the rhetoric and some of the words used disappointing. And uh, I, I just uh, think that, that we can do better as a nation. And I want to do my part as being uh, uh, better. Mm -hmm. We have to watch our words, watch our rhetoric. What do we say on our Facebook and our Twitter? And it seems like this time, place, the intensity, uh, somebody tries to get a political advantage by posting something on Facebook or saying something. And I want to just do the people's business. And, and in the 117th Congress, we have so many opportunities to help not only our constituents, yeah. uh, Dennis, but the nation move forward. You announced prior to the Capitol attack that you are going to vote to certify the electoral votes, uh, even though you had previously supported a, a Texas lawsuit calling 
some, some states the election results uh, into question. How did you come to that decision? Well, let's go back to on the amicus brief is what you were talking about. If you, re if you read the amicus brief, it was to say follow the Constitution and look at ma to make sure all states, their federal election law, followed the Constitution. That's what the amicus brief was. And uh, so when I uh, voted to accept the electoral votes, that's what the Constitution demands of us. Congress is not the decider of the election. Yeah. We still have the Electoral College, and the Electoral College has been good for this country for a long time because it helps rural America have a voice. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be having California, Texas, Florida, Michigan, and New York deciding our elections. Our 10 electoral votes should matter, Dennis. The president on Thursday said after the riot that there's going to be a peaceful transfer of power to the new president. Uh, your thoughts? Well, uh, that's exactly what should happen, a peaceful transfer of power, and uh, that's going to happen on uh, January 20th. Do you think those words ring hollow? You know, I think that some people might say they, they, they ring hollow, but I will tell you this, that, that I'm looking forward to working in the 117th Congress and working on both sides of the aisle, yeah. and never should we allow uh, a mob to rule or riots or looting any more in this nation. Our, our police officers deserve the respect. The Constitution matters, and, and citizen safety is, uh, is of primary importance. Sure. Congressman Pete Stauber, I wish we had a lot more time. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. Happy New Year, Dennis. Happy New Year to you. Thank you.